Hello YouTube. In today's video we're going to take a look at our network setup here in the house. I've uh, done a lot of improvements ever since we've moved in here. Uh, when we started, I'll uh, aim it on top a little bit, on that big wooden beam you see over there, I had a couple of switches mounted. You can probably still see the screws and uh, all the cables were just coming up from underneath and they were plugged in there. And uh, I always wanted to do it a bit neater, but we needed to get the network up and running as soon as we moved in and as quickly as possible. So uh, that was the best way to do it at the time. But as you can see now, we've uh, improved it quite a bit. I bought a two post rack from StarTech that I could easily slide all the way back. It can still slide back a little bit more, so uh, it's nice and flush with that uh, wooden beam over there. And uh, everything that was well, really necessary for the network is now in here, and we still have a lot of room for improvement and expansion, that is for sure. Uh, all the way on the bottom we have our Dell T140 PowerEdge server. It has been upgraded recently with a new uh, RAID controller. It now has the Perk H330, which is actually an official option from Dell for this server. Uh, I redid uh, ESXi, I redid all the VMs. It's now a much more stable affair than with an HBA passing through to a VM, which is then uh, responsible for the data stores, so maybe Proxmox would have been a better solution with that HPA setup. But anyways, I'm just a massive VMware fanboy. I digress. Uh, <laughs> if we take a look at the rest of the rack, let's just start all the way at the top. That's a bit easier, I think. We have a little patch panel from Digitus. It was reasonably cheap, it was about 10 bucks, I think. Ordered some uh, Keystone jacks for it. These are RJ45 to RJ45 because I was already using pre-terminated patch cables and uh, UTP wire. So uh, I just decided to go with RJ45 to RJ45 just so it's a lot cleaner and I don't have to cut off all the ends, uh, re-terminate them with a punch down tool and uh, make it work that way. All the cables were working fine already so I just not leave it the way it was. Added some patch cables to make it all nice and neat. Uh, under that is the main unmanaged switch for the network. It is a Netgear JGS 516 if I'm not mistaken replaced the fan on it with a bit quieter one now it's not as obnoxious the shelf below that houses the uh, TP-Link TP, uh, TP what's it? No, it's SG-108PE it's a power of the Ethernet switch it ports gigabit speeds uh, I needed a PoE for the access point that's the yellow wire over there that's going straight into the switch that's what my ubiquity APAC uh, light is connected to. It's working fine. The two red wires are the, you can see over there, used to be the main feeds. One of them still is. Um, a little bit of a backstory here. Uh, when we bought the house, the only two connections available to us were either uh, internet through cable or through uh, DSL. And uh, the main cable provider we have over here was just too expensive for my liking so we went with a DSL route and uh, the main point of entry for that connection was in the living room so one of these wires uh, it's actually the right one in port number two over there that's the main feed for the living room that's where the modem used to be I still need to replace that with a white cable because that's no longer actually an internet feed it's just going down to the living room, then into a switch, and that connects to the uh, IPTV box and all the various game consoles and all that that are down there that need Ethernet. And uh, yeah, the other one is going down to the utility closet where the NAS is located, another switch, uh, the fiber optic connection is terminated there, etc. etc. I'll show that in a little bit so you can get an idea of what's going on there. Also on the shelf is the HP T620 Thin Client, still running ESXi, doing a very nice job of uh, hosting the Pi Hole, Unified Controller, stuff like that. Moving down from there, we have a couple of blanking plates. Again, room for expansion. There's also another shelf on top of the PDU down there. Currently, I have an external hard drive laying there. And uh, you know, I just put the shelf in there so I could put some stuff in it and uh, hide it away. And uh, the PDU under there is connected to UPS. It's uh, in the back of the rack. 
and uh, everything that's connected to the PDU is also connected that way uh, to the UPS. So, got some uh, backup power right there in case we need it. And again, on the bottom, we have a PowerEdge T140 server that has a Plex Media server running on it, a couple of tested VMs, uh, has a remote desktop server that I use to uh, remote into the network, and uh, check on my email, all stuff, hosting some remote apps that uh, I like to use. And uh, that's basically the network rack uh, in a nutshell. So let's move down to the utility closet so you can get an idea of what's going on there. That is where the main uh, router and uh, fiber optic uh, enters the house. So we'll uh, take a look there. So, uh, yeah. All right, here's a quick look at our utility closet. On the right there is actually the ISP provided modem. Yanked it out as soon as our connection started working. Here is where our fiber connection enters the house. It is then converted into that fiber optic converted RJ45 over there, which is then going up into our main router. So if we move up a little bit, in fact, let's raise the entire camera. Isn't it magical? There we go. Here we can see all the important bits of the network setup. Here is a TP-Link switch again. This is the SG105PE. It's a five port power of Ethernet switch, which is connected to the access point over there and to our Philips Hue bridge, which is also converted to power of Ethernet now using a PoE uh, splitter over there. It splits the RJ45 PoE signal in that box over there to a power output and RJ45 for the uh, network connectivity. Main router, U Unify USG. It's fully wired and set up for all of the different VLANs on the network, for IPTV, uh, and for separating some bits on the network. Main storage solution for the network is, of course, my Synology DS218, a very reliable NAS, hosted VPN server, and uh, a lot of different files. Doesn't host our Plex library, but uh, yeah, doesn't have the capacity for that at the moment. So it's just mainly used for backups. So let's connect to a cloud service to backup to that. So we have uh, a lot of copies of the important data. So uh, yeah, I guess that really is the end of our network over here. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, tour through the way we set it up. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.